The empire was in full bloom and her population was rapidly expanding. The Germans felled forests, drained marshlands and reclaimed land from the sea itself. But there was still not enough space. Bringing the vastness of Poland into the empire would ease the pressure on the empire's borders. To deal with Poland, Barbarossa called up one of his mightiest vassals, Henry the Lion. Henry was a powerful prince of Saxony, and his decadent palaces outshone the emperor's own. While he swore fealty to Barbarossa, some questioned whether Henry the Lion did not want the empire for his own. By ordering Henry the Lion to aid in the subjugation of Poland, Barbarossa meant to test his oath of allegiance once and for all. Your Majesty, the counties of Bavaria and Saxony will provide us with the resources needed to outfit the Imperial Army, but we must defend them from the Polish. This war... Stoma. Yeah. 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 Stormer. Let's 
Barbarossa, I have some unfortunate news for you. You see, it is I who should be Holy Roman Emperor. Kneel before the lion. Sescoma. Her Imperial yeah. Highness, Henry the Lion has sovereignty over a population of peasants. We should capture them so that we will not be dependent upon our allies for supplies. Yeah. 
Princess Doma. Hey, sir. Street it.
Sestoma. Yeah. 
Pace, Sestoma. Bereiter, ja. Sestoma, streeted.
Scheiße. Sestoma.
wäre. Ja. Du wäre. Ja. Du wäre. Nice. Du wäre. Hey, ja. Henry expected to be drawn and quartered, the usual fate of traitors in those times. But Barbarossa recognized the potential for a strong ally and officially forgave him, provided that Henry the Lion would swear to support Barbarossa from now on. Amazingly, Henry agreed. Germany was unified and Henry the Lion was pacified. But the Holy Roman Empire was not complete. Hearkening back to Charlemagne, the Empire claimed ownership of Italy, and especially Rome. 